All right, now I'm not gonna take too much of you guys' time. Now, earlier today, I released a video in which I was laughing at this young man in the images uh, dolphiness, his baldness, his five foot sevenness. Well, I've received a few comments since then, and apparently this dude is doing what he always does. Well, doing exactly what he's done for the last year, and that's keep my name and my dick right, right firmly in his face. But I would like to do what I always do: show some receipts. All right. A lot of people have asked because of him. They've said, "JB, you lost your house." No, I didn't. JB, you ran from your house because it got shot up. Uh, no. Most of the things that this dude has ever said is a complete lie. So let me start off real quick by telling you where I'm at, why I'm here, and what's going on. And then I'm going to show you some receipts on a few things. What am I doing? I'm on a three-year working vacation. And if you guys followed my live stream channel, like this jackass right here does, you would already know that. The first year, I am doing amusement parks all around the country. Uh, and I will show you the receipts to all of that, not a problem. The second year, and by the way, I'm doing it for someone's kids, I'm doing it eh, as a gift to other people. The gift to me comes in year two, where we hike the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. Year number three, as we were in an RV going to 50 states in 52 weeks. Those are the next three years of my life. A lot of you guys said, are you coming back to Georgia? Yes, after three years. So, now, you don't have to agree or like my adventurous lifestyle, that's on you. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than doing meth or, or heroin and getting caught falling asleep on a bridge like this homeless bum actually did. When he's not living in his mom's closet and making videos about YouTubers that are more successful than him, Eh, that's your, typically what he's doing, getting high and falling asleep on bridges. And a lot of you said, well, he was found not, or he, the case got dismissed. So what? He was on the fucking video saying, I just got high an hour ago. Clearly, and if you listen to him, he's a meth head. Clearly, heroin addict, whatever. But anyway, I do want to show some receipts since we're here and we're dressed. So let's go ahead and get in to these receipts, all right? Now, I just want to make something clear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something for you saying, JB, you lost your house. Well, let's take a look and let's see if that's actually accurate. Let's actually, I'm actually showing you my bank statements, motherfucker. I just want you to see my earnings just on this account. This is just this account, Nick. In the last three months, I'm going to take you back three months. So here's what we got. This is December of 2023, $11,213. Let's go to January of 2024, $7,508. Let's go to February of 2024, $9,779. Now, what does this add up to? Shall we? Let's let's do let's do this. Let's pull up the calculator. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull this up. It adds up to twenty-eight thousand five hundred dollars income in the last three months. By the way, my rent in that house was fifteen hundred dollars. But let's do the math. Let's divide it by. Th let's let's divide this by three months. That is an average of 9,500 per month. Let's times that by 12. That is $114,000 per year. Just like I've always said, I make six figures on YouTube. How about you, Nick? Exactly. Now, let's get in. You guys know I don't have any other job. This is what I do. Now, let's get back to this, Nick. Now, you said... I believe, that my house got shut up and that's why I left. Well then why did I buy Walt Disney World tickets, annual passes, right here on December 15th, 16th, and 17th? Answer that question, Nick. Now let me show you something, give me just a second. Now, there are four people in my household, okay? And we're gonna get to this in just a second. We're gonna get to this in just a second, okay? So, here's what we're gonna take a look at. 
These are four, count them, four annual Disney passes. Would you like to know how much those annual Disney passes cost, Nick? Would you like to know? Are you a little curious? They, have, they cost $1,500 a piece. Those are the Disney passes. Now, I also have, let me go ahead and pull these up. Let me go ahead and pull these up for you. Four Premier Universal Passes. Goober, let's see how much those cost. $905 each. And there's four, okay? We also have Gatorland Passes, which I, those are cheap. Those are cheap. There you have the prices there. And she's holding them right now because she took the kids to SeaWorld. But we have SeaWorld Annual Passes. And what we have here are the Platinum Annual Passes that get us in to all four parks, all the parks. Those are $400 each, Nick. Those are $400, let me move my face out of here, each, Nick. And by the way, no, we can't get monthly payments because we're not Florida residents. Our IDs say Georgia, dummy. But anyways, now why am I showing you this? Because if a man has the ability to spend $15,000, essentially, on just annual passes to places. Clearly, you see my monthly income. Clearly, you see that I'm a six-figure dude. So you believe that I got broke and lost my house, or I left my house because it got shot up. Tell me when it got shot up, Nick, because I just showed you exactly when I bought said passes. You can't do that because I'm the only one here with actual receipts because I'm the one that pays the cost to be the boss. That's reality, Nick. You're sitting in your mama's house making videos in the garage, I mean, in the closet, high on heroin. Me, Nick, I'm a fucking boss. I run my own business, I run my own company, and I clearly have a better life than you. So you can tell these people all the lies you want to about me. You can, you can bring up domestic cases from 15 years ago and say, look, we got him. No, you don't have to get him because I'm the one that told you, Nick. I'm the one that told everybody everything about me and I still don't care because I don't respect hardly any of you. I am the one actually bossing, while many of you have the fudge in your fucking fingertips watching all the true crime channels. I'm the one actually doing shit, Nick, while you're doing heroin. Let's make that shit clear. That's the reality of this situation. So you can keep running your mouth about me, but the reality of this is, the last video I did, it showed everything we need to see about you. That's reality. You can sit and be mad because you think I'm mean to women's or mean to Negroes all you want. Because at the end of the day, all you can ever do is talk about me and wish you were me. You broke ass sack of shit. That's reality. By the way, the reason I showed them receipts is because you said my, my tips were fake. Can I, did, I, did I fake the bank receipt? The bank statement? Just reality. It's receipts for your ass. This is the final video. Toodles, little adorable dolphin bastard.